Welcome back to another episode of Teaching in the Time of Coronavirus. This time, I'd like to take you on a little blast to the past. Back in 2009, I was teaching freshman biology course that was a blended course. So I met once a week face-to-face -face and once a week was online. And the students had activities to do and this was a very regimented schedule. And as it turned out, the first week of school during what would have been my um, second actual lecture uh, meeting with the students, we had a snow day. And of course, in that particular schedule, I had no way of working around um, the, the schedule. I had to get a particular set of content covered so that they were then ready for the next activities that were online. So I had to come up with something on the fly, literally in my home office at the time, um, while sitting at home with, with the things that I managed to actually put together that I, that I had there. Um, and in that particular lecture, I always did a, a little in-class demonstration on how an atom was, was put together. So I recreated that in my home. Um, and you can uh, view that now and, uh, and just kind of see what happens when you have to do things at the last minute. So enjoy the video. Welcome to my demonstration of the atom. To begin, I have a proton. If we look at an atom, it's going to consist of protons, neutrons, and electrons. To be electrically neutral, Every atom needs to have an equal number of protons and electrons. So if you were to look at your periodic table, you should be able to determine which atom I am. I'm a hydrogen atom. Now you'll notice I have a proton and an electron, but in the hydrogen there are no neutrons. If we move along the periodic table and we go to helium, Helium is going to have two protons, but it also has two neutrons. And as well, an electrically neutral helium is going to have two electrons. And if we keep moving along the periodic table and we add another proton, in this case, there are actually two neutrons added. We now have lithium. And that's as far as I can go. So I hope you enjoyed my somewhat lame attempt um, at, at, uh, at being an atom and, um, and that it shows you what, what can be done whether it should or should not be done is a different question. Um, there's obviously some problems with that particular video, but it worked. It did what I needed it done. Uh, needed done at the time and um, and that's the kind of situation we're in right now doing what we need to do helping our students the best we can um, obviously you don't have just one snow day to deal with right now you have weeks or perhaps the rest of the semester uh, to to deal with these sorts of things but hopefully um, this just gives you um, something to be better than maybe all right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.